Hey everybody, it's Benji. Um, welcome back, I guess. I'm gonna start trying to do these videos again more regularly. <laughs> Because we got a lot of cool stuff on the farm that's going on that I kind of want to document and, and show you guys what we're doing. Um, so right now it's June 20th? 22nd. 22nd. It's June 22nd. Um, we're side dressing corn. I'll turn this around, show you guys kind of what the corn looks like. It's a little short here, but uh, most places it's about knee high. That's kind of when we like to start side dressing. Um, that's how we do it anyway. And this here, um, one of the new things that we got is our, our side dressing rig that we made. So this is a 2010 Patriot sprayer we bought it this year um, just for side dressing. And we made these uh, Y drop deals. I'll probably get, that's trademarked, I probably shouldn't say that. But um, we made these Y drop deals. So in theory, um, the corn comes along here and along here and it just drops a strip of nitrogen right between the corn rows. So in theory, the Y drop should go along here and drop nitrogen right here and nitrogen right here and hopefully get it right next to the corn and not on the corn. But um, I can see here, I burnt this leaf a little bit. So um, this corn is little, it works a little bit better when it's a little bit taller, like close to canopy. I suppose I should check the oil here. One-handed. Ah, there's some on there. Good enough. So some of you guys are probably wondering why we decided to buy a second sprayer. Why not just use the one we already got? Um, one, the nitrogen is super corrosive. It's like pretty. It's like salt water, basically. Um, so that'll slowly rust away the sprayer over time and we figured that was kind of a shame to do that to our new sprayer because we want to keep it nice and keep it worth something. So we bought this used sprayer out of Pennsylvania, um, got it shipped over here. Um, a couple of the key features that we were looking for in a sprayer is, uh, is the big tank behind me. We got a 1200 gallon tank in this sprayer. Um, you can do 24 acres of of side dressing at a time with that. Um, our other sprayers only got 800, so that wouldn't work super good, I guess, compared to what we got now. Um, we were also looking for individual nozzle control, so um, it shuts off if I overlap. So right here, we got the uh, aim command pinpoint two, whatever you want to call it, and a Viper Pro, I think. This basically just controls rate and I can do prescriptions if I want and auto steer, but uh, this does all the individual nozzles um, and your pressure adjustment and turn compensation and the overlaps and shutoffs and stuff like that. Another really important feature that we wanted that our other sprayer doesn't have is these fancy Harley pegs right there. I think it's about 85% um, nitrogen and 15% um, sulfur or sulfate or whatever. So this truck, we have the co-op tender us because our tank is only 1,000 gallons and our tank, this can hold 3,000 gallons. So we'd have to make like 50 trips with our truck versus these guys only making like 20. And it's just so much nicer that we don't have to run and do it because Dad's busy spraying right now. And I'm busy driving this thing and um, it helps you get a lot more done in a day if they can tender you. Well, we're doing it. I don't know if you guys can see out there to my boom or not. Hopefully you guys can kind of see what the heck it is I'm doing out there. But uh, this thing's controlling my nozzles right now. About half of them are off because I'm a poor guesser. Dad's a poor planner driver right there. Um, but hopefully these things are kind of following in the rows like they should be. 
Um, anyways, that's the idea. Um, also, it's got boundary control too. So all our farm boundaries are in there. So if I go through a water run, it shuts off for that. So I'm not applying in those areas, saving me time and, well, not time, but money. I just uh, thought of another bonus that this sprayer has that our other sprayer doesn't have, and that's that uh, that the seat squeaks all the time when you're driving it. So you get to listen to that all day, which is really, really makes my heart warm inside. As we pull out of the field here, I'd like to uh, take this time to thank everybody for their comments and concerns and questions over me uh, quitting YouTube for a while, I guess most of last year. Um, common questions were, did I get a girlfriend after I took my shirt off in that very last video? No. Um, did I die? Good question, but no. Um, do you need a sponsor? Of course I need a sponsor, but no, I didn't get one of those. Um, but uh, I, I guess the real reason why I quit last year is, uh, is everybody else's excuse. You guessed it, COVID. My, uh, my film crew didn't want to show up because they were scared of the virus. So um, you guys missed out on last year's content, but uh, it was a good time. None of us got COVID. Um, we all survived, I know of anyway. Um, so you can blame the coronavirus for that too. That's my excuse. If any of you are wondering what that foam is coming off that orange thing out there, it's rabies. This thing has rabies. Now on to the most important job. You guessed it. How long? <laughs> Well, as you can see, we got that patch over there mowed and there and there and behind those bins and, um, well, you can't see because it's dark, but uh, I hope I got everything mowed. Not really sure, but uh, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. So um, thank you guys so much for tuning in again. Um, stay tuned um, to our channel because we got a lot of cool stuff going on this year. Subscribe, leave a comment, like, share. I think that's all you can do. So we'll catch you guys in the next one.